Hello VC, welcome to another vinyl update from me, the Rock Scout. Um, been out in a wee dig. Uh, some of these albums are from a record shop, some of these albums are from eBay, and some of these albums are actually from a new source, which is Facebook. I discovered a vinyl page, a UK vinyl page, where you can buy and sell vinyl. So I uh, joined up to this page and just put a status on it. I kind of looked through posts, like past posts. Wasn't much for me there. Um, so I basically just put up a status saying, looking for heavy metal, 80s, 90s, VG post condition. So I got a couple of replies and bought a couple of records. So let's start with one of them. And it is Extreme and 1990s Porno Graffiti. This album is awesome. Maybe apart from one track. See if you can guess what track that is. Yeah, more than words. Hate that song. Absolutely hate that song. It just gets so overplayed on the radio, it's unbelievable. How, if, I mean, if you said to anybody who wasn't a massive rock fan or into um, music as much as we are, have you heard the band Extreme? Yeah, they sing that song more than words. That's all they would know. There's some great songs on this album, and that's the only song they would know because it gets played over and over and over again. But in reality, this album is really, really decent. Um, the other song I probably knew the best off this album is Get The Funk Out, which does get a bit of radio play over here on uh, rock radio and stuff. But that's a really decent song and it kind of gives you a better perception of what the band's like because it is kind of um, hard rock, funk, groove kind of stuff. Not more than the words, which is an acoustic piece of shit. Um, sorry, I'm getting a bit wound up, but it's actually a good idea for a thread. How about songs or bands that are ruined by radio? There's an idea for somebody, might do it myself. Somebody can jump on that if they want. But anyway, yeah, awesome album, apart from that song. That's Extreme and Pornography. Definitely their most successful album. Um, second, uh, second full length release. Uh, and just comes on a, a standard paper sleeve, which I will have to change. So yeah, first one. <sighs> okay, on to the next one. This is a bit battered and bruised. Covers a bit creased and damaged. Um, actually played this song, uh, this album yesterday, and the first thirty seconds were full of snaps, crackles, pops. I was like, oh shit, this is going to be a disaster. But after that, it kind of ironed itself out. Maybe it just needs a, a good, good clean. Um, but it did iron itself out, and it played really well. And it's Halloween's debut, Walls of Jericho, which is the only album to feature Kai Hansen on vocals until he took over guitar duties. Um, really decent, really, like, just high-speed metal. Um very different, well not very different, but quite different from their next two releases in the Keeper albums, but um, still really enjoy this album and the artwork's really cool as well. So that is Walls of Jericho. Um, inside you have a lyric sheet and you also have this kind of catalogue of albums from Noise Records, which includes, um, obviously you've got Halloween, Creator, um, Running Wild, what was the other one? Celtic Frost. So that's pretty cool to see as well. So that is Halloween and Walls of Jericho. Um, this next album is from my new source of Facebook. And I've been looking for this album for a while. You'll see why in a minute. But you look on the likes of eBay and stuff and it's just you go on you think I'm going to grab a bargain and it gets to the last hour 
it just creeps up and up and up and up and I don't think I've seen this go go under 18 quid so basically I put this status up on Facebook on this page and this guy replied a list of albums this one jumped out at me straight away um, so I said what condition is it in excellent condition right I'll have it how much do you want for it and in fact I've it came with another record as well and he says how about 15 quid for the two posted I was like that'll do me Queensryche and Operation Mindcrime so chuffed with this I mean £7.50 I paid for this and like he said it is an absolutely great nick um, inside you have the insert which is near mint with the band photo and lyrics and it plays through without a hitch so very happy to pick that one up because I've been looking for ages for it so that's Operation Minecraft. Uh, next up is an album I do have on CD but I've never seen it in the wild and it's Motorhead's second release from 1979, Bomber. And that, that artwork is just awesome. Uh, you have in the back, Remy and Last Eddie, R.I.P. Uh, but yeah, that's one of the, that's the kind of artwork that you just, you'd want to buy it again, even if you had it. Because it's, you see it in the store and you're just like, oh, I'm getting that. Um, again, just comes on standard paper sleeve, which I will change. So yeah, Motorhead and Bomber. And the last one I picked up was from the record shop. Um, I was a bit wary about buying it because I do like this band, like their music, but I like their later stuff. And in my head, I'm kind of not against buying their earlier stuff but the singer's voice always puts me off and the singer is Udo so you'll know by now it's accept and it's their debut album self-titled from 1979 and I hummed and hawed and I was like oh, it's here it's cheap so I thought just get it so got it home um, put it on the turntable and I was pleasantly surprised. And I think it's because it's not how I thought it would sound, if that makes sense. When I first started listening to Accept, it was Udo. And his voice always put me off. And for some reason, I've just never gone back to it. I just thought, no, I can't stand his voice. And I don't know if it's maybe different on different albums. But um, on this, it sounds fine. I was really surprised and I was like, that is just a great album. I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm kind of glad because it's kind of me to pick up more of their earlier stuff in the future. So uh, that's that. And inside, paper sleeve as well. So that is my last pickup from the weekend. Except, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I might start making a list of songs ruined by radio. Um, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.